Let's start there. That's what's happening right now in real time. At live on television, our Doppler radar is the only one of its kind that can show you what's happening at the moment you look out your window. This is the area of Lincoln, Munford, Talladega, Pell City, just covered up with blinding rain, lots of lightning strikes too, but we have not seen anything except for brief flooding reports. And because we are seeing this rain slowing down, there is now an aerial flood advisory. So this is for any kind of tributaries of the Coosa River. You notice Wilsonville there, Talladega Springs. This is into areas of Pell City and uh, right around that Riverside Bridge pushing towards Lincoln. This is an aerial flood advisory until 645. So the next hour really as that heavy rain we just saw push through finally makes it down to those creeks, rivers and streams. Everything is already swollen because we've already had two impact days down and we're still looking at more rain throughout the evening. It just will not be quite as heavy as what we just saw. So between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning, we have those spotty showers that will continue to fill in. And that's why we still do, of course, see that flash flood watch in effect for most of our northwest Alabama counties because of the amount of rain we've already received. And it still is going to go on into Thursday. We just have not seen this pattern shift and we're not going to see this pattern shift until we get towards the weekend. It's going to take a larger uh, ridge of high pressure that's going to sink southward by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday. That creates more of a heating of the day summertime pattern with limited amount of humidity in the atmosphere. This is vast. It's an upper level feature that continues to just dump humidity into the atmosphere. And with the heating of the day, we saw the skies open up. Now the sun angle is getting lower in the sky. It's approaching 520 in the afternoon, but we still do have the dynamics to increase the rain coverage because of the upper level feature. So it doesn't all have to do with the heating of the day. We're just starting to see a lot of it uh, kind of getting really socked around Tuscaloosa County and into portions of Western Jefferson County right now. It's taking the temperatures way down 71 degrees right now in Birmingham. So it's really going to make a big difference in your comfort level. Of course, 74 in Tuscaloosa right now. It's 70 in Haleyville, 71 degrees in Coleman, but it's just so humid. You're still going to need the rain jacket. You're still going to need the rain boots all the way through at 7 p.m. where we expect to see those thunderstorms continue. Notice as we push towards the overnight period, you're still looking at the temperatures in the 70s, but those showers will be very spotty until tomorrow afternoon. Again, we keep those impact icons on the map for you because you need to plan your day accordingly. If you work outside or maybe you have any kind of travel plans, we're seeing that pattern where most of it is happening right in the afternoon when you don't want to be out there on the roadways, but you got to do what you got to do. Grab our app. It is free. You can also download the uh, traffic section too, where you can see where the skies are cleared.